Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and we're playing Eternal Eclipse Tauyarin. Um, so, if you remember last time, I died. No thanks to some of these batty cans. Um, so I went through, did the exact same path, did the exact same things, and uh, here we are back again. This guy will never die. They seem a little bitter, it's because I had to throw away a recording for this segment again. This is the third time I'm recording this. This is not what they meant by time looping every five days. Alright, so death spewer is going to be the death of me unless I'm the death of it first. Oh, thank goodness. I am very close to dying. Okay. Alright, let's get back serious here. I have a couple of things at least. Oh, this area was not here before. Curious. There is nothing else to do in this time loop, so we're just gonna go ahead and go. With a little cutscene magic all over the place. Time restores itself to five days before. fortification is so interesting. There are two barriers? No, just one barrier, but it's right behind something else. Something very strange. Oh. Yes. I expect it would be strange to you. As far as I can tell, it's some sort of temporal field. Yes. But more than that, infinitely more. Well, in any case, let's try to get a picture of this artifact. Do it. You might be able to do this, though. If I project to the field, you guide me through it to any time, and I'll find it. Okay, I'll give this a shot. I think I can sort of sense you, so... Alright, here we go. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to put a seizure warning on this game. Definitely a seizure warning. <laughs> Amazing. Even though it was only an instant, that was it. The Tyrin Sur Suryu Oirin. Yes, this is it, Sadie. We 
just need to wait for the berry to wane, pop in, and grab it. For a sword named Suroni. Huh? Pardon? Oh, it's nothing. I just got distracted for a moment. Day two. Alright, here we are, Cloisters Day 2, in search for key number 4. And our health is already kinda low, which is why it's good to have life whips handy. We can save any time. That's one mistake that I made in the first segment. It's a mistake that I don't intend to make again no matter how many times I'm going to have to uh, record the second cycle. What? Well, it's a good thing I saved there, wasn't it? Those little buggers have a surprising amount of firepower. That's true. Okay. Get rid of him. Okay. And let's see what's over here. Well, there's our fourth key all the way over there, but there's this barrier here. I wonder, if we come here on a different day, maybe that barrier will be gone. So, let's find ourselves an exit. Oh, life web. Life web is good. For as many times I've, as I've been through this, you'd think I remember everything, but no. I think... As long as I don't get hit by that thing. Those... I don't know what they are. Vegetable faces. There's Brussels sprouts, I don't know. But those, if they hit you directly with their attack, it is a devastating attack. As you can tell, I've kind of grown accustomed to using venom a lot. But for these, I'm going to use a glass shard. Okay. Through the exit, to the ruins, let's go. That sword. Even though I only saw it for an instant, there was a strange sense of recognition. Almost as if it belonged to me and I want it back. There's something wrong with it though. Something not quite right. If I could see it closer, or possibly hold it, even for only a minute, perhaps then I could understand. Day 3. Alright. There's really nothing to do in the rules on day three, at least not at this point in the game. So, so loose essence, loose matter, whatever. F web. Oh, there's there's something over here. What the? Oh, that was a strange glitch. No, the essence flew away before we could catch it. Nothing to do, so we're just gonna go back to the cloisters this time on day four.